So now that we've gone through all the equations to design a bridge, let's have some fun and make one online uh, or actually with an application. So we're going to use a bridge designer. If it doesn't show up here in the uh, in the menu, hit all programs. You're going to look for bridge designer and click. It shows two of them here, one for older computers and one for regular. We're just going to choose the regular. So while it's opening up, a uh, real quick history lesson. This used to be called West Point Bridge Designer. If you happen to Google bridge design applications, you might come across that. West Point, the U.S. military, is the one that actually uh, created this application for their engineering program. They made money on it, and they decided to sell it to um, an independent company, and they now own this bridge designer 2016 is what it's called so now that it's open um, i'm just going to take you through some of the basic clicks i'm not going to show you everything but just enough to get you started and let's take a look at what we have here so we can load an existing design if you have started a design for class and you want to go back and refine it and and revise it you can load that design or you can load a sample design if you don't want to go through a lot of the calculations you can start with something that someone else has already done we're actually going to choose uh, create a new design so I can show you more of the features well one of the first things it does is it talks about the design requirements so up here it talks about uh, what the design requirements are and you can also hit the help button down here to get detailed design. So it says a civil engineer working for the State Department of Transportation, you are responsible for designing a truss bridge to carry a two-lane highway across this river valley and it gives you your objectives. So here you see the river banks and the river. It's 24 meters high and it's 44 meters across. We hit next and the setup wizard takes us through designing a new bridge. It is super duper easy. Uh, the next thing it asks us is if we're participating in a contest. Uh, we are not. We're just designing for class, so we're just going to go ahead and hit next. One of the things you'll notice at the bottom of the screen is it has a kind of a key here. So it's actually filled in um, a deck for us. Um, it has the river banks that we've already shown and the river itself. You're going to see some excavation as I'll, I'll show you some examples and you'll see that here in a little bit. And then these are the abutments that you see here. So we can actually choose our deck elevation. So right now it's at its maximum of 24 meters, but we can go all the way down to river level almost. And here's where you see the excavation. And this is all the earth that has been removed. One thing to notice that every time we make a change, our site cost down here is going to change. So right now, if our deck elevation is zero and we've done nothing else, we haven't changed anything else, it's at 138,000. Let's just put it back up to 24. Aha! It's now 63,000. So there's a cost to remove all that earth. Well, we can play around with the uh, abutments. So right now it defaults to the standard abutment, but if we wanted to put some arches in there, that's what that would look like. We can also play around with the height of the arches. So as you get greater in height, you can see what happens to the abutments. You're actually adding earth here. You're not taking away. We're just going to go with standard. Also, you can add piers, and let's see what that looks like. Um, it adds one pier here, and if we can change the height of a pier, we can put it all the way up to the deck, or we can put it part way up. We're going to choose no pier. And you can also put cable anchorages. So let's just see what one looks like. Adds a little dot right here. I don't know if you can see that. That's where a cable would go if we had a suspension type bridge. And you can see if we hit two cable anchorages, you have the second one over here. Let's go back to no cable anchorages. So right now we're at a site cost of 63,000. Let's go ahead and hit next. 
Now it asks us to select the deck material and truck loading. Um, again, you have some choices here. You can have your medium strength concrete or high strength. High strength is going to cost you a little bit more. Not a whole lot, but some. We're going to stick with medium. And then you can also change the loading. Right now you see two trucks. And each one is 225,000 newtons. And it's two lanes. You can make a one lane bridge for one truck that's 480,000 newtons. Again, we're just going to stick with the default and click next. Now we can select a template. So if you select none, which I'm not going to do, you have the opportunity to make any design you want. I'm just going to choose the, um, let's choose what the how, there's the how design, the Pratt design, you can see they're very similar. And if you click on them, you can see what your design is going to be. Um, some of the decks are, or some of the trusses are below the deck and some are above it. Let's choose, um, let's just choose the, this one, the through truss worn. And we're going to click next. And here's where you're going to put your name. And you're going to call it project one or whatever you might want to call it. Click next again. Um, so here it says uh, you're basically done with building. So you've all we have to do is click finish, draw the joints, draw the members, and so on and so on. And I will take you through that. So here we are on this screen. Um, it shows the template. So these aren't there yet, but this is the template of where our where we should put our things. It goes away if we click the template button so we can show it or hide it. I want to show it because I want to get this right. Here are our tools. So here are the the joint tools and each joint remember is where trust members come together. The bottom are actually existing. Those are the only existing joints. You have to fill in everything else. We'll come back and do that but let's take a look at the tools so we can select a member once we've added them. We can use this to select members. I'll show you how to do that. And then we can also erase them. So right now, let's just go ahead and let's put our joints in. All you have to do is put it over and click. And if you get it in the wrong spot, we'll do that here. We'll come back and fix that. But let's add all of our joints. So now we've added all of our joints. Uh, but you know what? Let's go back and fix that one. So we're going to click on the arrow and choose it and we're going to move that over. Now we have to add our actual beams. So you, you click on uh, one joint and drag it to the next. What's cool about the anything that's straight is you can click and go drag all the way across. You can see on the right hand side as I do that it's adding individual trust members. So we can actually click and we can choose any one. So this one happens to be number two. And you can see it's highlighted with the number two here. And it's also highlighted in the chart. Now it says load test results. It doesn't have anything because we haven't tested it yet. And we will do that. But let's first of all, let's finish adding all of the members. So we'll add our bottom. Now here's where it gets a little bit tedious because you have to add all of the individual pieces but it's pretty easy to do that. Click and drag, click and drag. And again, as I'm doing this, you can see on the right hand side, the different members being added to the table. Okay, so it looks like we're done adding all of our members. Now, if we want, we can choose individual members and we can make different materials. So for example, let's move our tools down here a little bit. The default is carbon steel. We can make it, get that out of the way, we can make it a uh, high strength steel or we can make it quench and tempered steel. I won't get into that but you can just see uh, the size didn't change, just the material changed. And you can see that our cost has changed. So our carbon steel 
is well it has the same price there it looks like that it will be updated after we test we can make it a solid bar or we can make it a hollow tube um, we can make it the cross section uh, change we can make it really thin or we can make it big uh, so let's just choose one here so you can see what a big one looks like we've chosen member six let's just go make it really big and see what happens so it's a 500 by 500 millimeter that's half a meter by half a meter that's really thick and you can see on the drawing it kind of draws it to scale uh, and I just wanted to to do that so you can see what it looks like let's get it back to 140 okay well we're done doing that so now we want to test it so how do we test this thing well a couple of different ways there's the magic test button here um, or you can actually use the uh, pull down menu and uh, you can show animation which it does automatically or you can hit this button this button load test is the same thing as this magic button here so we're gonna hit that see what happens whoa it failed our truck pulls up and it says oh I can't go across alright so let's go fix that here's another quick way to see what happened there's a big red circle there with a line through it it failed so let's go go back to our drawing board clicking that button now here's here's a pretty cool feature um, it shows you graphically here in the uh, the drawing what has failed so all of the members with the lines through them have failed you can also see which members have failed in the uh, the load test results so here now you see it has numbers anything greater than one means it's failed so what we can do you can change them individually or you can choose all of them let's just make them uh, let's make them 190 and just see what happens so we've changed our design let's go back and run another load test okay so far so good truck is rolling across and made it all the way uh, it's gonna keep going here you see the status is green with an arrow going up so I have a good bridge design my cost is pretty high if I want to take a look at the cost the detailed cost all I have to do is click that it tells us what our material cost is uh, what our connection cost is so that's the, the number of joints and so on and so on I'm gonna close out of that get back to here and congratulations you have just designed your own bridge now it's up to you to take what you've learned mess around with some of the features here learn those a little bit and it's your job to come up with the lowest cost bridge in the next two days good luck